XSTAR was kind enough to send me their brand new D36-5802 dive light to test and review. It includes everything you see here. Four 18650 lithium rechargeable batteries. The XSTAR MC4S four bay battery charger. The wall outlet for the battery charger with a USB-C cable. A wrist lanyard with two backup O-rings. A user manual for the dive light and the battery charger. Plus this nice carrying case. So why is there a D36-5800 number two? because there's a predecessor, the original D36-5800. The main difference is that the original uses a battery pack that has three 18650 batteries. The new version has four 18650 batteries that are user replaceable. So it's going to be a little bit heavier, a little more heft to this light, but it's going to offer much longer run times. Here's what the inside of the tube looks like and the end cap. To insert the batteries, they, just, they go in positive end first. The way the end cap works, this post goes in this hole right here, then all the springs line up on the batteries, and then when you're twisting this, this will spin and the springs stay locked in place. The light offers two LEDs. They can be run separately or simultaneously. This LED here is going to be your floodlight, which is good for video or lighting up a large area in front of you. And that can run up to 4200 lumens. And this light here inside the reflector is your spotlight. And the spotlight runs at 1600 lumens. If you run them both at the same time, that would be 5800 lumens, which is where the name comes from. Okay, the light has two buttons. To power the light on, you'll press the right button. And that's going to turn the light on in the floodlight mode, which you're going to see on the display at 4200 lumens. You can all see that the battery is fully charged. And when this Illumination around the buttons is green, that means the batteries are over 90%. If I press the button again, we're going to go to the spotlight mode at 1600 lumens. Again is the dual mode at 5800 lumens. And the, then again is off. Let's power the light on again. And this time when I'm on the floodlight mode, if I press the left button, we'll cycle through the different power levels. Go to the spotlight mode, same thing. The dual mode, same thing. And if I keep pressing the right button, we'll turn it off. Now let's look at some of the hidden features. To lock the light so it won't accidentally get turned on, hold down the right button. You'll see a lock come up on the screen, and when that closes, the light's locked, and now it won't accidentally turn on. To unlock it, hold the right button down again until it unlocks. Now another hidden feature, when I turn the light on in the floodlight mode, if I hold down the left button, it's then going to switch to a strobe mode. And when I'm in the spotlight mode, if I hold down the left button, it'll flash SOS and Morse code. Alright, let's go outside and check it out. Okay, we're about 20 feet from that garage door. The first thing we'll try is the floodlight on high. So it does a pretty good job of lighting up that whole area. My GoPro is also on the fullest wide angle. So you can get an idea how that lights up that entire scene. Now that's going to be the spotlight. And that's both lights, the spotlight and the wide angle. And then off. So let's try wide again. That's at the 4200 lumens. And there's 2100 lumens. 1200 lumens and then back to high. There's the spotlight at 1600 lumens, now 750 lumens and 400 lumens and back to high. And that's 5800 lumens with both, 2850 with both, and 1600 with both. And it'll turn it off. Okay, so now we're going to try some distance shots. So now when I turn the floodlight on, it will kind of light up these side garages, but it doesn't do a good job hitting those ones that are far away. But the spotlight will light up everything down there pretty good. And now both lights will light up the garages down there and the side garages as well. That's really nice having the two lights built into one with the floodlight and the spotlight so you can switch between the two. The other thing that's nice about this light, it has this one quarter inch tripod mount. So you could put on a pistol grip, for example, or a tripod. 
Now in addition, XSTAR offers a lantern grip. Here's the XSTAR hooked up to my camera tray. So we're going to take it on a dive next and use the XSTAR, use the floodlight as my video light. Tonight we're, we're doing... testing the XSTAR D36-5800 Have it set up here as my video light. Woo. the light worked out really good I like having the two different LEDs having user replaceable batteries is a big plus if you have any questions please leave them in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe